All right. To uh, register for uh, the classes at uh, Laney College and for Purple Silk, please go to purplesilk.org, as you see here at the top. When you get there, go to registration information. All right, now step by step, the first form you need to do is the admission form, which is also known as the CCC form. When you get here, you go to Laney College. Now this form you have to fill out and you go to, if you're a new student, you go to create a new account. And over here, you have to have uh, an email address. You can use uh, Google. Uh, Gmail or whatever you use. And you go to this place that says, begin creating my account. You fill out all these questions, your uh, first name, middle name, last name, uh, you know, birthday, all this you will know, have no problems, okay? Um, then it says social security number. And then uh, they also ask, um, you know, do you have a social security number or taxpayer identification number? And you just uh, fill it in and continue. Now, so sometimes they won't let us go on because we didn't put all our information in. So you go, then the next thing is after the admission form, you go to enrollment form. And if you are in elementary school, you fill out the elementary school and middle school form. When you fill out this form, where it says parent and guardian, guardian signature, you must have them, your parents sign it and date it. Now over here on the top, it'll tell you, we'll fill in the semester and the year, and what grade will you be in, you know, uh, in the fall, all right? Now over here, it says a student's name, first and last name, middle name, and they ask for student ID. This is very important. When you fill out the CCC form, they will give you a student ID. This is a student ID for Laney College, not a student ID of your high school or your middle school. Over here, it says your birth date, your email, your address, and then there's a place where your parents sign their name, put in the phone number and their email address, okay? That's very important. Now, you sign your name where it says student signature, date it, and again, your parents must sign their name and date it, okay? Your school address that you're going to and where is the school, all right? Now, the next line is a school principal signature and seal stamp. So the picture, the picture here shows right here is that you have to have your principal sign it dated and on the box here a school stamp all right next one next line it says um where what class you are taking and we put in chinese orchestra and the person teaches it is sue so you do not have to worry about after you have completed this form you give it back to us and we'll fill it in where there is vacancy in the class All right, if you are in high school for grades 9 to 12, this is the form you fill out, okay? Uh, same information, students, uh, last name, first name, uh, and then your Peralta student ID, which will be generated when you have filled out the CCC form. Your birthday, your address, uh, your phone number, your email. 
and then your signature because you're in high school now and then the date now over here on the where it says high school authorization okay then you know how if you're in high school you should have no problems filling that out okay and the school also requires that um, uh, the school counselor uh, fills it out where it says high school counselor's name and, and also their signature and the date, okay? And below that uh, is where the class is, you know, uh, what is the class or, or is it online or whatever, okay? Oh, next one, please. Now, the last form you fill out is the Great Wall Registration Form. Remember, there are three forms. This is bilingual, your student's name, your birth date, your address, and so on. This next one that says um, your race, huh? this is very, very important because they wanted to know how many people are being served and what is the ethnic background. This is for us to get grants, okay? Now the next line, orchestra, and the instrument you play. If you are a new student or a returning student, the next one over here, it talks about the school. What school do you go to? And the grade. Next one, your parents' name. Uh, and it could be your mom or your dad, okay? And then uh, the cell phone, how to contact your parents and your home phone if you have one a lot of people no longer have landline so you know if you don't have that just fill out the cell phone and in case of emergency we need to know who we must contact okay so uh and who how they are related to you now over here it talks about uh the for new student if you're an Oakland resident, you pay 270. If you're a non-Oakland resident, it is 370. Why is there a difference? Because the program is supported by funds from Oakland, government funding. Let's say you live in San Leandro, unless San Leandro pays Purple Silk money, there's no way we can uh, do this uh, you know, at the same price. And returning students, is a, a different price and non Oakland returning students is 270. So if you want, need to contact Mr. Sue and mail your things in beforehand, his address is Victor Sue 330 8th Street, apartment 5H, Oakland, California 94607. Please note that after filling out the CCC form, which is the California Community College form, 24 hours later, you will receive a student ID code. After you receive the ID code, then you may start the process of filling out enrollment form and the registration form. Thank you.